What's going on YouTube? Kurt S7 here for the review of United versus West Ham at Old Trafford. First things first, I just want to say I'm very sorry that this is a little late. I had a few things going on, but finally I can knock out the review. And secondly, Wayne Rooney, you are a lucky, lucky boy. But anyways, guys, let's get on to that game. Um, mate, we grinded out results. We actually grinded, worked hard, dug deep, and bring out all three points, which is something that we've struggled to do recently. But, um, mate, what can I say about us? I tweeted this out the other night. Mate, when the game starts and we are going for, forward, boy, do we look good. We look absolutely world-class going forward. You can't stop us. We look simply amazing. Uh, Raphael, who I thought, I'll get to my man of the match then in the end, but uh, Raphael, mate, contender for man of the match. I thought he was fantastic. Got down that right wing, put a lovely cross in for Wayne Rooney and his sublime finish wasn't easy on the half volley there. Just helped it on its way to the back post. United go 1-0 after four minutes. I'm thinking, geez, here we go again. This is like, this is, is this going to be Leicester all over again? But uh, we worked hard, we dug deep, man. We, we bossed the match, and not long after, Falcao got the ball, could have blazed the way, but he didn't. He put a nice through ball to Van Persie. Van Persie shimmied with his right foot, found the back post, 2 0 up. I'm thinking, happy days, this is really good. And then, next thing you know, guys, David De Gea, what was he doing? De Gea was just scrambling in the defense. I don't know, he just tried to, this cross was coming in. Now he's just tried, a corner, sorry, he's just tried to jump over two defenders. There was no need for it. Stay on your line, Dave, we'll be all right. Let the defenders do their job, you do yours. But he doesn't, he came in, nowhere near the ball. Ball's gone over and hit the crossbar. I'm not, I can't remember who, did, I think it was Sacco. Hit the crossbar, came back to him, open goal, boom, 2-1. And at this point, I think every I can think I can speak for every United fan here. We all thought, shit, is this gonna happen again? Because <laughs> it was just seemed that way, just seemed my word. But anyways, half time came out. We we came out for the second half. I'm thinking, right, if we can get a goal back now, put us 3-1 ahead, we'll kill the game off. We will kill the game. But wasn't meant to be. Um Let's, let's talk to the decision. Now, I just want to say, I saw an interview during the week with Rob, Robin Van Persie about that loss to Leicester. And he said, after the loss against Leicester, United had a meeting for over an hour, hour or whatever with Louis Van Gaal. And he said, it's not the mistake at, in the defense that causes the goal. It's the mistake before the mistake and before the mistake and the mistake, mistake before that. So as you can see, there's a trend going on here. It doesn't start from the defense, it starts from the midfielders and the strikers works its way up. So as soon as in the game against West Ham, West Ham broke on the counter attack. I knew that Rooney had his iron downing and I knew, and I said to him, I said mentally in my head, I said, Rooney, take him down. This is not looking good, take him down. And boy, did he take him down. I'm thinking, oh my God, you stupid kid. Not like that. Tug his shirt, tap him on the ankles. Mate, he kicks him above the knee. Not on, not on. Clearly a red. I agree with that. Straight red. And uh, he's gonna next. He's gonna miss the next three games. He's gonna miss Everton at home, uh, West Brom away, and he's gonna miss Chelsea at home. A massive match. But that could be a shining light as well. One matter. Disappointed not to start again. This could be his chance. Mate, Louis Van Gaal could, should say to him, all right, Mata, I've dropped you for the last few games. This is your chance. This is your spot. You're going to be starting now. Own it. Make Wayne Rooney. Make, make him work hard to come back in the team. Don't let him waltz back into the team. If you're playing fantastic, I won't bring him back in. But if that actually happens, who knows? But um, yeah, guys, uh, McNair, Paddy McNair made his debut. Mate, and what a clearance. I think it was in the 85th minute. Mate, just really... Back of his head, knocked it on. What a clearance. I thought he was solid throughout the whole game. 19 years old. And another 19 year old making his debut, Luke Shaw. Mate, you just think he was just, he slotted in that Old Trafford left back for, you know, 100 games before that. He was just on song. Thought he was fantastic. He does have Premier League experience, but he, that shows in that game. He was absolutely fantastic. Like I was saying, lads, Raphael. I thought he was fantastic. I thought the back four was solid. Very shaky, and you knew that every time the ball went in the box, you're thinking, oh God, are we gonna concede now? Very shaky, but they were solid. They dug in deep, they were fantastic. For me, Ander Herrera was fantastic. I just can't have enough praise for this kid. 
He is just solid, gets in, mate, he, you, you want to talk about a midfielder that tackles, works hard, you know, and, and produces quality going forward, and Herrera does all that in one. Daily Blind, I thought was solid as well, I thought he was, he, he was pretty good, um, but the last minute of the game, guys, mate, I can't remember who crossed it in, I know Alex Song got it wide, I, I can't remember, they got it in, I think it was Downing, I'm not too sure, or even Sacco, they crossed it in. And Kevin Nolan scored, and I thought, oh no, it happened, it happened. But the referee said offside, and it was offside. Check the replay, mate. Oh, happy days. How lucky were we? Anyways, lads, we scraped the victory. Three points. Very, very lucky. But, uh, mate, this is what gives you confidence. You know, these four nil uh, droppings up against uh, QPR, they give you confidence. But this is a better type of confidence. This is the confidence saying, hey, we can grind out a result now. So hopefully, when we play Everton on the, uh, this weekend, who are buzzing from confidence from uh, Phil Jagielka's uh, goal at Anfield, they'll be buzzing too. So it's going to be a cracking, cracking game. Uh, for me, guys, man of the match, you have to flip a coin between Ander Herrera and Rafael. I thought those two were fantastic. Uh, Di Maria, sublime as usual. Uh, I'd love to see a bit more game time for Adnan, but of course, you know, Van Gaal picks his team. It's a bit hard to get in the team at the minute, but that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But anyways, lads, three points for United. We go above the Scousers on the table. Happy days. We're working our way to the top four now. So uh, Arsenal dropping points, you know, so uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis 7 Stay tuned for more content coming your way. Take care and peace.